How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. I'm deep into my series where I review exotic weapons in PvP. I've reviewed all the exotic pulse rifles, auto rifles, and scout rifles. If you want to check out any of those reviews, I'll leave a link in the description to a playlist containing all of those videos. Now I'm moving on to reviewing the exotic hand cannons of which there are several to choose from. I'm going to start with the one I've used the most in the past, the Thorn. And I believe this is one of the most used exotic hand cannons currently. Before I get into my review, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, head on over to my Twitter and give me a follow there, the link will be in the description down below. Anyway, the Thorn is a 150 round per minute hand cannon which is currently the best hand cannon archetype. Right off the bat, that gives this weapon a 1-up since it's part of a decent class of hand cannons. Let's get into more detail by going over the perks real quick. The first perk on Thorn is Corkscrew Rifling which boosts its range, stability, and handling. Then it has Accurized Rounds which gives it a nice boost to range. Then the first unique perk on Thorn is Soul Devourer. Absorbing a Remnant strengthens Mark of the Devourer and partially refills the magazine. No, Remnants are dropped by enemies defeated by Thorn and Mark of the Devourer is the main exotic perk which we'll get to in a moment. The last regular perk is Textured Grip which gives a substantial boost to handling at the cost of a bit of stability. Then the main exotic perk is Mark of the Devourer which makes it so rounds pierce targets and apply damage over time. As mentioned, kills with the thorn leave remnants behind. Alright, we have a hand cannon that is already competitive in the meta that also applies poison and kills produce remnants that boost that poison damage for a short duration. I really like the aesthetic of this weapon and I like that it applies the damage over time. Now this is a PvP review but I must admit that Thorn is somewhat fun to use in low tier PvE activities. With the amount of remnants you create you never have to reload and you have a constant damage increase. Anyway let's break down the numbers to see if the poison or buffed poison even help at all in PvP. First of all if you disregard the poison damage we have a damage profile of 68 per crit and 43 to the body. This gives the Thorn an optimal time to kill of 0.8 seconds with 3 crits and an all body shot time to kill of 1.6 seconds with 5 body shots. Alright, but realistically you'll always apply poison damage to your opponent. The basic poison deals 2 damage per tick over 4 ticks for a total of 8 damage. So with the poison damage, the damage profile is now 76 per crit and 51 to the body. When this is the case, the optimal time to kill is still 0.8 seconds but it's more forgiving because you need 2 crit and 1 body instead of 3 crits. Meanwhile, the all body shot time to kill is 1.2 seconds with 4 body shots which is 75% of the base body shot time to kill. Now, when you grab a remnant you get a powered up version of Mark of the Devourer for 6 seconds. With this active, your poison will do 7 damage per tick instead of 2 for a total of 28 damage. This makes the damage profile 96 per crit and 71 to the body. Okay, now for anyone 6 resilience or lower, the optimal time to kill is 0.4 seconds with 2 crits. If your opponent has over 6 resilience, then the optimal time to kill would be 0.8 seconds with any combination of body or headshots. This means that the all body shot time to kill would be 0.8 seconds with 3 body shots at any resilience. Alright, with all that said, Thorn has a lot of potential. When it's not buffed, you can 3 tap with 2 crits and 1 body. When it has the buff going, it can 3 tap all to the body, and in cases where opponents have less than 6 resilience, you'll 2 tap with 2 crits. That is an amazing time to kill. And honestly, I think a lot of people you face have less than 6 resilience. These numbers are honestly really impressive. But what about the other stats? Compared to the other exotic hand cannons, it's got decent range at 53, the stability is middle of the road at 60, but its reload speed is the lowest at 46, and its mag size is just 9. However, it does have really good handling at 87, which is the highest among exotic hand cannons. Then it has the second highest aim assist at 85, and a perfect 100 recoil direction, making the recoil essentially vertical. If this were my first time examining the kill times and stats for Thorn, I would be sold. Let's talk about things I like about the weapon. I absolutely love that it's a bit forgiving and allows for one body shot in its optimal time to kill, and not only that, but the poison doesn't have any damage fall off which makes this a bit better at range than the stats would let on. Additionally, when you get that remnant, you melt opponents, even if your aim isn't all that great you can 3 tap to the body which is not something to overlook. A 0.8 second time to kill to the body is amazing. If you have the buff and can aim, then you can kill enemies in 0.4 seconds and continue to chain the buff because you can pick up another remnant. Then even if you aren't getting full kills, the poison increases the chances that you get an assist by delaying your opponent's healing. 
I don't have highlights for this particular match, but I do remember a match on Retribution where I got 17 kills and 20 assists using the Thorn. Anyway, I also feel like the gun handles really well. It doesn't feel slow to use, which is always a plus in Crucible, especially with hand cannons. Moving on to things that I didn't like about the weapon, the range doesn't always feel great when you get into the 4 or 5 tap range. It takes quite some time to kill enemies. This makes sense, but it can really be felt with the 53 range stat sometimes. Most of the time I don't have issues with the sights or whatnot, but Thorn has one of my least favorite sights in the game. On some maps in particular, I just kind of struggle seeing it. Despite all of that, I would say Thorn is a great hand cannon and it can be fun for anyone to use in casual playlists, and it can be a great competitive weapon in the right hands. It's part of a good hand cannon archetype and as a result of its exotic perk, it's more forgiving than most other 150 round per minute hand cannons. Alright, that's it for my PvP review of the Thorn, stick around to check out some highlights from my session using it, and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to head over to my Twitter and follow me there. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.